Hi, this is Janice. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of a mystery box I received a over a week ago. It is by Makeup Geek. And if you'd like to see what I received in that mystery box, just keep watching. Here's this little box, okay? I hope I remembered everything. And here's this basket full of stuff. Yeah. Nothing was damaged. Everything is packed nice and tight. It is a face mask. It's really cute. It's black. I've not worn it yet because I was saving for this video. I got quite a few masks now. How about you? I'm like really into them. Every little cute one I have to buy. This is basic black. It looks like it has a pocket here for a filter. And I like the way it fits. Comfy. And it has the adjustable ear um, hookies. <laughs> I like that. I received a bunch of eyeshadows and I've already taken them out from this floor that was in this bag to come individually packaged each eyeshadow and this is her new design it's the square I went ahead and put it in the empty palette here it's a four pan palette and those are the colors that I received they're very pretty very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and pop them out and tell you the colors and go ahead and swatch them real quick. I usually don't do a whole lot of swatches, but I will these four. First one here is Berry Berry. My next one is Staycation. Next one is Tuscan Sun. And this is the only shimmer that I received in that little four pack. And that one is Whimsical. It's very soft, very nice. I don't know if you can see it on my finger. I wiped it on my wrist here. So those are the colors. It's only one swatch. So. They go on very nice. The pigments are nice. I have worn this already a couple times and really enjoyed it. I love the formula. It lasts all day. I have absolutely no problems. I am loving this. Truly, truly loving this. This is telepathic. I'm not quite sure what this is. It's some type of highlighter color. You can probably use it as a highlighter. Um, got a little hole there on top. Oh wow, that is pretty. It's iridescent. Definitely looks like a highlighter. And being I spilled it here in the cap, I'm going to go ahead and pull a bit on my cheeks. I might make myself shine. Some more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to put too much on. Uh, well, a little bit I did put on. Sharp. Well, I have it in a cap here, but anyway, I will um, kind of dump it back in here and save a little bit. Why do I even care? This thing's so packed. I don't know. I'm very frugal. It makes I make myself crazy. I'm so frugal. And what are you? I haven't really played with any of this. I just opened it and looked at it briefly. This is Isabella 3D Foam Make lashes. Faux me means make believe me. Faux means fake make. In other words, it's not a real, not from a real make. I've heard people say, oh, it's make. I'm, I'm cruelty free. It's not real. It's cruelty free. It's um, got the bunny rabbit on there. Ooh, ah, look at those. <laughs> 
Don't know. Those are gorgeous. I might try these someday whenever I can wear them out and about and look gorgeous. Wow. Those are gorgeous. They're real full, fluffy. Oh, and they're soft. Oh my gosh. I'm only used to the very inexpensive flashes. Those are soft. All right, that's nice. I forgot I got these. Look at all these eyeshadows. Now this packet is from the old um, round pen. So I'm sure she wanted to have this mystery box is to make sure they didn't go bad and give us offer it to us for a deep discount so we could enjoy this product eyeshadow this is summer loving beautiful these are round pen like i said i'll show you here real quick not that you don't believe me but just to show you see round pen and that is Summer Lovin'. I just said that, didn't I? This one is another one. This is in pocket change. It's like a brown. Oh, and these are mattes so far that I'm pulling out. So I got to try to see what's what here. Um, this is Tinsel Town. Not sure if that's a matte or not. I think it it is. If not, it's a satin. I can't tell. Here's a foiled color. It's like a blue. Blew my mind. That's very pretty. So there's a foil. And here is a cream color and so pale. I believe that's a matte. And here is another big topish color called Prom Night. I do like this color a lot. In fact, I like all the colors so far. And it's like a champagne color called Showgirl. And it is another foiled. That's Hazel down there. She's talking. This is embellished. And what are you? A dark brown, kind of, or kind of a cool brown. I believe that's another matte. Another brownish color called Spirited. A lot of neutrals here. Okay, and another foiled. This is in a brown called, I think it's got Gross Fate. What a name. I'm not sure. G R O S S F A D E. Here she goes. It is a foil. That's got me intrigued. Hmm. I haven't tried these. G R O Gross Fade. Gross. High spell Gross. G R O S S. Who would name that that? I don't know. Wow. Oh, wow, these are big pans. Look at this. Okay, break it, Janice. Get all the way through that packing and storing here for a few days and I right, break it. Ooh. It feels nice. Feels like butter. Oh pretty. That is really pretty. So I don't know why you would name it such an ugly name. <gasps> Hazel May, are you saying hello down there? Miss May, what you doing sweetheart? For those who don't follow me, <laughs> that's my little Pomeranian. She always has to be with me. And this is pretty, this is Surfs up. It's kind of a mossy green, it looks like. Pretty. That's it for the shadows. I got these empty palettes. And they're for the circles. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. And I got one more. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure if I got two or three of those. I, I've had this out, so who knows? But anyway, that's all I can find right now. Because <laughs> here's another bra. This is a bronzer. It's a, little, it's a little dark for me, but I'll make it work. Maybe use this contour called Half Heated. And it's dark. But I'll use it as a contour or eyeshadow. It's not, once you buff it out, you can make it lighter. And I got her makeup blending sponge. This is really unique. All kinds of little facets around it. Little, I don't know, you probably can't tell it. All kinds of little sides. I don't know. It's flat here. And then it has like, Flat side here, 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 here. No point. I received a makeup brush. And she reminded us to please wash your brushes before use. And it just looks like a whatever brush. <laughs> these, sometimes I'll use these for contour. It's probably what it's for because I've got the contour. So that's what I use it for. Oh, it's nice and soft. No, it says wash, but you know, I don't, I don't mind. And I got a mascara. And here. Some black. Regular packaging, nothing fancy. Let's see the brush here. It's a basic bristle brush. I've heard good things about her mascara, and I love mascara. I got quite a few going right now. Got some eyeliner pencil, and it is color it's brown. Very soft. It's another one, which I really like this color. It's a nude eyeliner pencil. I like using these for my waterline. Kind of brighten up my eyes. You can see it there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. And is that it, Janice? I think that is it. I believe so. Let me check the box, see if it's empty. I've been into this, so who knows. But in all, it was $60 for me. For $60, I received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, 15 eyeshadows, a beauty sponge, makeup brush, two eyeliners, mascara, contour powder, Highlighter, two of the round ones, one of the square ones, and <laughs> and eyelashes, and last but not least. Face mask. So I'm very happy with that mystery box. It's absolutely the best mystery box I've received to date. 
Not that I get that many. And I usually don't get them because of my budget. But I seen some unboxings and I thought it was worth the risk because I got some wonderful things. And I wanted to try these products. I feel from my, not my experience so much, just from my observation from others and just little experience here feeling them, that they're nice quality, very upper, you know, um, more prestige type quality, if you know what I mean. Um, I've worn the shadows a couple times, it did not fade, and they went on great. Pigment was great. I did not irritate my eyes. All the above. So I'm happy. Okay, that is my video for the unboxing of my mystery box from Makeup Geek. And if you haven't already, I'd love if you'd subscribe. It would really make my day and also help me out a lot. Also like this video if you liked it. And go ahead and comment. Do you, um, have you used any Makeup Geek? And if so, what do you think? Did you order this mystery box? I don't know if it's still available or not. The time she had a $50 mystery box, a 20 and a 10. By the time I popped online, the 20 was gone, only the 10 was available, and the 50. Um, I'm so late doing this video, possibly it's not, and I apologize for that. But I still want to do the unboxing because she does sell quality products. She's Marlena has redone her makeup line. I, she renamed a few things. I'm not sure she reformulated. I should know these things before I talk about them, but I've only heard bits and parts. Just enough to know that I really wanted to try it. I, I've watched her content. She's very good. She teaches you how to wear eyeshadow. She teaches you how to wear makeup. She has makeup classes you can buy. They're very reasonable. I have not yet done that, but I have watched a lot of her videos and learned a lot of tricks. She also gives tricks and tips for, for free on her YouTube channel. All right, I think that is it. <laughs> it seems like a week and a half since filming and I'm, you know, I, I'm just off today. I'm just off. I got, it's not a personal note. If you're still here, thank you. Give me, a, give me, hey, hey, I'm still here at the end in your comments. So you know that hey, you listen to me. Probably most of it's long gone. But I, uh, I have been redoing my house as far as cleaning, redecorating, um, getting ready for company to stay for a few days, cooking, baking, you name it. I always enjoy that. It's my first love, my family. So the back burner goes to my YouTube videos, unfortunately. But I do enjoy doing them. And I'm gonna continue. I somehow I've gotta figure out how to do this. This is gonna be a priority sometimes because I don't I get so behind and then I get frustrated and I just stammer on and <sighs> Yeah, I'm just I want to make this a priority. Of course, my family comes first, but you know what I mean. Pretty, pretty up there, you know. So, well, I keep, I quit rambling on now. But I do appreciate you watching this video, and I hope you had a wonderful Easter. Because I don't think I'm gonna get this up to after. But I hope you had a wonderful Easter if you celebrate. If not, I just hope you had a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is who is making all that noise. Well, not just her, but mostly her. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Bye.